Hello friends, this is Kira from Nins and Needles, and I'm uh, going to show you how to do a lazy daisy stitch in this video. A lazy daisy stitch is so called because it's a lazy or easy, as I prefer to think of it, way <laughs> to make a flower, uh, but it's a technique that I like to use in different ways. So you can see here where I've used it to make the iris of her eye here, and I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be demonstrating it here on her eyelashes, actually. So let's get started. Like with many stitches, you're going to come up from the back of the hoop. So you take your needle to the other side. And we're going to come up at the base of where we're going to make this first eyelash. You come up, pull all the way through. And now we're going to do something kind of unusual. We're going to hold the thread with my left hand, or my non-dominant hand, if you're left-handed, use your right one, etc. You got it. Uh, and then we're going to actually reinsert the needle back through that hole. So back where we've just come out of, we're going right back in. <laughs> and this whole time you are gonna hold this aside. You can also um, just hold your thumb against it like this. I'm using a stand, so it's a little awkward for me to do, but if you're using if you're holding the hoop in your left hand, that's typically how you do it. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't pull all the way through, that you leave this nice big loop, and then we're gonna come up through where we want the stitch to end, where we want our eyelash to end in this case. And we're gonna come up through there and pull until the loop starts to tighten. And at this point, you have a choice. If I wanna keep it a nice big petal, like we've got here, I would stop pulling. I wanna make these a little bit tighter though for the eyelashes, so I'm gonna pull it just a bit tighter until it's where I want it to be. Once you've got it to the desired um, petal uh, size, <laughs> heft, however you wanna call it, we're gonna anchor down the stitch. <clears throat> so we're gonna reinsert the needle on uh, the left side of the loop in this case, on the other side of the loop. So we've got the thread coming up out of the inside of the loop. I'm gonna reinsert on the outside of the loop, just underneath where I've come out of. So it's really small and tight, and it's just going to create a little anchor and hold my loop down with the smallest possible stitch. And there we've got a little eyelash, or petal, if you're using it to make a flower. <laughs> So I'm going to go and start on the next stitch again, coming up from the back and pulling all the way through and then holding a portion of it with my left thumb before reinserting back in that original hole. I'm going to pull through enough to make a nice big loop and you want to keep your loop um, from twisting. It'll naturally start to twist. That's going to make your petal... Um, look a little wonky. So you wanna to try to keep it from twisting. That's why we're holding it down with our thumb the whole time. Then I'm gonna come back up where the eyelash ends or petal ends. You might think of it as the, oh, I might have a little knot in the back. <laughs> my thread appears to not be pulling through. Let's see what's going on. Let's explore with my left hand without looking. There we go. I'm gonna pull it quite tight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back down on the other side, on the outside of the loop, creating an anchor to hold that loop down. I'm pulling it tight so it's uh, not too visible. And that, my friends, is a lazy daisy stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this eye. Lazy Daisy stitches, of course, are great for flowers, but I really enjoy the texture of them and I enjoy using it in unexpected ways. So if you uh, go to nimsandneedles.com <laughs> and click on shop, you'll see our um, Buzzy Buddy pattern, which is a chunky little bee. And you can see we use the Lazy Daisy stitch throughout that bee to make the texture of his wings to create um, the fuzzy texture on his belly. And I just like playing around with different stitch techniques like that to create different textures. I think that's a lot of the fun of embroidery is <clears throat> taking these forms in different unexpected directions, really using them in your own way. 
So if you take this video and you've, you know, learned how to do a lazy daisy stitch or it's helped you perfect your own lazy daisy, please take a picture of your work and send it to us. We're in Nins and Needles on Instagram would be an easy way to do that or Facebook. We also have email, ninsandneedles at gmail.com. You can find links to any of that on our website. That's ninsandneedles.com. Look at this eyelash get fuller and thicker. These are definitely eyelash goals if you're into that sort of thing. I also like how it makes this eye look like a stubbly little sunflower with just a few petals, a few short little petals. All right, there we go. I've completed a whole row of these guys. And that, my friends, is the Lazy Daisy Stitch. Thank you for watching. Happy stitching, friends.